Hey guys, my name is Nicholas and today I'm going to show you the basics of a frontal collapse and an asymmetric collapse. I would recommend you to do it in an SIVU course under supervision and over water, but if that's not possible, just go find a safe spot in the air and in my case that would be the right above the front course right there. So if I have to throw my rescue, I'm gonna land either on the golf course or in the woods behind and that wouldn't be that bad. I am not a professional pilot. I just was searching for how to do videos on YouTube which are explained and I couldn't find any so I decided to do them by myself. So what I'm doing first is a front collapse. On the front collapse, you let your brakes go, you grab your A razors, both of them, left and right, and you just pull them down. At the basics, you let them go straight away. So you pull your A risers, pull them down, let them go again, grab your brakes and you wait because your glider is gonna open by itself. It's not gonna shoot forward that much. You won't even feel that much of a turbulence. It's really simple and easy and actually quite safe. So let's do it again. You first have to look if there is anything underneath you or on your side so there are no other pilots then you can get ready. Let your brakes go, grab your A razors, pull them down, release them straight away again, grab your brakes and stabilize your glider. It's gonna accelerate a bit once it opened again but you're gonna feel safe for sure. So what I do next is I do the front collapse in a pitch movement. That means I break my glider, I release it again to accelerate, I break it again, I release it again to accelerate and once my glider shoots forward I let my brakes go, grab the A-racers and pull them down. You're gonna see that the collapse is bigger than the other ones and it's not gonna open that fast than before. But it does open by itself. I grab it, pull it down, let it go again and now I grab my brakes. You can see I missed them so I just hold on my glider but it opened by itself. Now I grab my brakes and I stabilize my glider. That was it. Those were the basics of the front collapse. So now we're going to the basic of the asymmetric collapse. The key is that you shift your weight to the other side that you want to do a collapse. So I want to do a collapse so on the right side. I grab the A-racers. I shift my weight to the other side. That's because I want my glider to go forward and not to go in an auto rotation. So grab the A-racers, shift your weight and pull your right side down. Your glider is gonna collapse. You try to go in the same direction you did before. You can see I go a little bit to the left. I let my Braces go, I pump a little bit with the brake and it's gonna open it again by itself. So let's look at it again. I grab my erasers, pull them down, I go a little bit to the left, that's because I have too much weight on the left side. I let the erasers go, I grab the brake, I pump a little bit so it opens again and now I stabilize my glider and I can go away. Those were the basics of the asymmetric collapse and the frontal collapse. Thank you very much for watching. I hope I could help you a little bit. So I'm going to sure do a part number two where I'm holding the front collapse for three seconds and then open it again. It's basically the same, but I'm going to explain it a little bit more. And in the asymmetric collapse in part two, I'm going to go in the auto rotation and in the other side. So, and then I'm going to show you how to exit your rotation again. Thank you very much and have a safe flight.